Okay, my name is Matt. Uh, this is how to parse Excel with Ruby. Um, I wrote this for um, kind of the beginner, advanced beginner programmer. Uh, maybe someone that's already using uh, Excel at the workplace um, and hopefully wants to get better at Ruby. Um, people that are more skilled in the room, I would be interested in, because this is kind of what I am right here too. So uh, maybe afterwards you guys can tell me how to improve this if, if you're interested in providing some critique. Um, this is a, a code along if you're interested. Uh, if you want to play along, you're going to go to git, um, github mattnewellvet.git is your checkout. We're going to use pry, and we're going to use a gem called roo. Uh, roo takes uh, Excel files, any spreadsheet, and it turns it into a Ruby object. So I'm going to go forward, the green bar is the setup, so if you want to install. And I was going to sidebar in a few slides I'm learning. I'm reading this book called uh, Anyone read this? It's best $5 I've ever spent. Um, here's a couple concepts. If you're trying to get better at something... Um, that was The Little Book of Talent? Yes, it's called The Little Book of Talent. And uh, there's a few concepts in there that I just wanted to share. Uh, you can break down skills into hard and soft, and you have different approaches to getting better. Uh, hard skills, you're going to get better with repetition and what's called chunking, breaking things out into pieces. Soft skills are really experimentation. Public seeking, this is a soft skill. Uh, you want the, what's called the learning sweet spot. It, you don't want it to be so hard that you leave the room, but you want it to hurt. You want to fail more often than you succeed as you're getting through the content. So if you're a quarterback, your hard skills are uh, your pass mechanics, your footwork, uh, learning a playbook. Your soft skills might be reading a defense, a musician, Chords, scales, cover songs are your hard skills. Um, writing some, uh, singing a song that makes people cry is definitely a soft skill. Um, for the software developer, it's your command of the language that you're writing in, and maybe your command of your, your overall development st stack are your hard skills. Knowing what to build, knowing how to build it, user stories, those are going to be your soft skills. Um, these are my picks. I like Ruby Monk, and I like the Michael Hartle tutorial. Uh, side projects are my favorite pick for getting better in soft skills. So uh, what we're going to do is we all have a job here at uh, the Animal Hospital. We've been hired on as secretary. We have one job. We're going to open uh, an Excel file called appointments. We're going to list today's appointments, and we're going to report them to a bunch of people. So first day of the job, we're going to open up Excel. We're going to filter on appointment date, and uh, pretty pretty cush job. So we've got a lot of time to learn Ruby, hopefully. Um, so if you were following along uh, and you've downloaded this, you can get checkout via one. There's seven tags to go through this tutorial. Um, what we're doing here is we're putting in our, our required gems. That's uh, lines one and two. And then we're creating one variable here, and that's uh, reading in the Excel file. And then what we're going to do is jump right into uh, we're going to jump right into our binding, our pry, and we're going to just look at our object. So we can see that it's a Roo object, that's its class, and then I'm just going to pull uh, appointments info, and it just tells us some, some very high level information about this, uh, this object. So what we're going to do is jump into Git02, and this is kind of where Roo's magic comes in. Uh, Roo takes the columns of your spreadsheet, it makes a hash for every row, uh, and it uses those columns uh, as values for the hash. And so, if we're going to go over, we're going to run it again, 
and inspect it, we get to see the, we're, we're starting to understand the structure of, of this hash. Um, but since we're more interested in uh, improving in Ruby and less interest about getting really good at the Ru object, um, we're going to move on a little bit from here. Um, I'm going to, there's no new code on this one. Well, actually, we're, uh, we're creating a new variable that's sheet zero of this Ruby object, of this Ru object. And uh, then we're going to put the binding right in the middle of this uh, iteration. And what that's going to do is help us to better understand how to call things. So for example, we see the keys are now the name and date, and they're calling from the columns uh, pet name and pet date. And uh, on row one, it's actually itself, but if we were to go to the next iteration, we're going to see that with this syntax, we can, we can start extracting data out of the uh, The object. Uh, putting a, a, a binding, a prime binding in the middle of an iteration is probably a bad idea because it's going to keep breaking through the iteration. So not a great idea when it's a thousand row spreadsheet. It's, you can get through this with a five row spreadsheet. So what we're going to do now is copy the data uh, from this, this root hash into a more vanilla hash. And uh, so what you'll see is uh, on row four, we've created a, just a, a new hash. And then uh, down in 14, we've created a hash key. And then uh, we're basically going to iterate through the root object, and we're going to just start building a new hash. Now, there's obviously there's an error in here. Um, the, re the first reason why I built this is because I wanted to say things like appointments hash, pet name, date. Uh, the problem is pets go to the vet more than once ever. And so what this is going to do, this ha building a hash off of key name, you're going to wipe out most of the data in your spreadsheet. So what I did was uh, I refactored in 05, and I created in row 5, I created a hash counter. And then as I'm rolling through, uh, my hash key is now, I prefaced it with an ID underscore, I add my hash key and then I turn it into a symbol. And uh, if we were to run a binding on that, things were pretty, pretty clean. It picked up all our data. So, Then uh, on Git on 07, we really haven't written any new code, but we're refactoring it into a class. And by doing this, there's all sorts of advantages. It's easier to maintain. It's, uh, it's now testable. Um, and this is overall goodness. Uh, what I'm going to do is go forward one slide, and I've shrunk things down. So one thing that actually you taught me is let's make these these uh, methods extremely descriptive. So each method does one thing and each method has an extremely descriptive name. So even if you were a, a novice programmer, not a programmer at all, you pretty much know what row 11 is going to do. It's going to read an Excel file. You know what 16 is going to do, it's going to turn it into a hash and then 29 to 36 is going to output it. Uh, then down here, we're calling our object, uh, and we're passing the value of Wednesday, and uh, that's how we do it. So what I've found is uh, I don't work for a vet, but uh, when I 
came back and showed management what I could do with Ruby, all of a sudden they start going, hey, can you, uh, what if you sent a text on everyone before they had an appointment? Or what if you could write out a new Excel file? And so what happens is, is this gets kind of autobiographical. Uh, all of a sudden your job gets really cool. You know, you're kind of lame administrative job. Now all of a sudden you're, you're writing code, you're getting paid for it, and uh, you're, you're helping people, you're actually becoming a better employee. Uh, there is a homework assignment if, if this was at your right level of development. If you were to go to Git, check out master, that bed scripts file will be blank, and there's a new file in there called test. Uh, you run the test and uh, start writing code, get all the tests to pass, and when you're done, you will know how to uh, parse Excel with Ruby. And then if you're into that kind of thing, this is my cat. Uh, it's got 17 followers on Instagram. 24 followers. <laughs> uh, and then uh, looping this whole thing back to uh, skills development, uh, the hard skills, uh, which we're going to learn with repetition and chunking, um, if this was appropriate level of development content for you guys, you would go through the checkouts, the versions, and get those chunks mastered. Uh, and then when you're getting ready to, to improve your soft skills, you would start taking on those experiments. Uh, you'd start writing out Excel files, maybe making a bar chart of cats versus dogs, uh, or using Twilio for a, a text message. That's my brief. Questions for Matt? Um, I've never heard of the Roo gem, but it sounds pretty cool. Did you run into any places where it gave you trouble, or was it generally pretty easy to use? Roo is uh, magic. It's really a, it's a wrapper around Nokogiri, yeah. which does just about everything. And um, it's, it's really good. Um, however, it really is only good at doing one thing, and that's reading Excel or any spreadsheet data. It doesn't write stuff. So actually for a couple of years, my job was to build Excel files, but I, I never ever actually opened an Excel file. Uh, I would just parcel the data out of it and then hack it Ruby and you know, hope no one found out. And uh, <laughs> but, but then I found a new, there's another gem you have to use called Axlex, A-X-L-S-S, which nice. is the, the writer. And it's a pretty elegant, uh, it's got a pretty robust library for writing out. So I, when I write out an Excel file, I can set column widths, I can turn filters on, I can make pretty pictures. Um, it's basically Visual Basic, but much more cool because you're not using Visual Basic. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that's the best asks. kind of visual yeah. 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 Whenever, I, whenever anybody asks me for an Excel file, they get a CSV. So. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And then you just don't tell them. It's like, here. And then they double click and it's on Excel, and everybody walks away happy. You have to be careful. We had the same kind of thing where we had to output. There, was other, there were all these reports, and they came to Excel every month. And we rewrote a whole bunch of stuff around it, and we started giving our finance department CSV files, and they're like, our customers can't open CSV files. There are hundreds of these. They opened all of them and saved as Excel uh, for months without even saying it. <laughs> so so no, it's when people it's, say Excel, they really actually mean that they want an Excel spreadsheet. I think Excel, for a lot of places, my work, um, it becomes everyone's poor man data, man's database. You know, someone might make something, some little hack, uh, an address book, and all of a sudden that becomes where everyone at the company goes to, to use. So it's, I don't know, an MVP database almost, but Excel is alive and well, at least in many workplaces. So um, for me, learning how to hack Excel was, was a really nice way to bridge into Ruby. <laughs>
CSVs are great until somebody opens the file, Excel converts it to scientific notation, yeah. and then saves it. <laughs> yeah. 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 To yeah. ask you, like, I, because your path to Ruby was my path to Ruby. I actually used an older system, Jim called Win32 OLE using the old OLE system. And so this is how I got into Ruby for many years. My curiosity is how did you connect Ruby and Excel? Because it's not a normal path. <laughs> Until I've heard your story, I've rarely heard someone else with my similar story. Uh, I have a pretty cush job. I get I get paid and no one really cares how I do my job. <laughs> and so once I figured that out. I, and got over the anxiety of having this kind of silly job, uh, I, I figured that I could use my job to get Ruby, so when it, by the time they found out I wasn't really doing anything, I'd have these, these good <laughs> skills. <laughs> so that I, I could one go, thing a long time ago that made it so you never have to do anything again. Well, yeah, that's the other thing, is once you use Ruby, you do even less at your job. <laughs> because all these files build themselves now. <laughs> yeah. That would be uh yeah, how's wink surfing going? Yeah, I I don't like that sport. No? I just uh I thought, I thought that's what you were into. No, I live up in Geist and uh wake surfing's a thing out there. These just amazing boats with Corvette engines and thousands of pounds of ballast and all your fat friends. <laughs> and, and, and you take the boat real slow and it, it actually makes a wave and it's like surfing Malibu you get a perfect wave and uh, I just feel guilty it's the most it's just I'm kind of an environmentalist you know it, you're, you're burning you know 200 pounds of gas an hour so that you can watch your friend surf and it's it's a cool thing but I just uh, it's just way too decadent for me. I mean, I just, I don't know. I, I'd rather use my hydrocarbons different ways, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs>